I trained with a two-time world champion, and he told me that this boxing combination is the one that everybody needs to learn right off the bat. I lived in New York City for almost seven years and had the opportunity to train with two-time world champion Joan Guzman at the iconic Gleason's Boxing Gym in Brooklyn, New York. My coach, Joan Guzman, had 300 plus amateur fights, won some iconic amateur tournaments, including the Pan American Games, was a two-time world champion as a pro, and even had the chance to train with Floyd Mayweather Sr. in Las Vegas. He told me this combination is the one that works almost every time at any level, amateur and professional. This combination is one that everyone needs to perfect. And let me introduce it to you. I ran up a check, I might do it again. Enemies close, have me thinking they're friends. Ten toes down, I'll be free into the end. Crib outside the city, I don't feel safe in my ass. Took so many years, I'm just waiting for the win. The combination is actually super, super simple, super, super basic. Everybody learns it, but not everybody thinks about the purpose of why they learn it. The combination that everyone should perfect is a jab, jab cross all right in your boxing stance that jab jab with the front hand turning over that backhand cross so one one two now let me explain why it's so important to understand this combination once you understand how to throw this combination through various different ways you become unbeatable with it it's such a versatile combination the jab jab cross you're using your most important punch the double jab your front hand in order to set up your power cross. Now, when I say variations, there's a ton of different ways to throw this combination. So try this with me. Meet me in your boxing stance. Boxing stance right here, you're visualizing your opponent in front of you. Now, with that double jab, not even the cross yet, with the double jab, you can use the double jab so many different ways in order to set up your power cross. You can throw a jab to the head, jab to the body you could push them back moving forward with the double jab you could keep them off of you as you move back and create space with that double jab and then you land that backhand cross again there's so many different variations shooting the jab to the body and then the head shooting too fast flicking jabs getting the hand in their face and then following it up with the power cross or throwing one fast jab one hard jab again there's so many variations just behind that double jab once we understand how to throw the double jab multiple ways we have a better chance at landing our backhand cross and now once you have that as an option you could even throw that different ways you could throw the cross to the head or the cross to the body if I were perfecting this combination, or if I were training one of my fighters and I'm teaching them they jab, jab, cross, I'm teaching them the variety they have behind it. Once the opponent is able to adjust to the jab, jab, cross, you can still use it. You just have to use it off of a feint or a little bit of defense. Again, there's so much versatility behind that double jab cross, all right? Let's recap and review. You could push your opponent back with a double jab and then fire the cross. You could use a jab to create distance and then fire the cross. You could jab them to the body, then jab them to the head, then throw the cross. You could throw two fast jabs and follow it up with that power. You could throw one fast jab, one hard jab, and then fire that cross. The jab, jab, cross is one of the most versatile combinations that you can learn. It's so easy to learn, but again, just like boxing as a whole, it is never ending you could always perfect certain elements of that double jab cross whether it was the footwork the tempo the speed the power you throw it and then once you accomplish that you start to integrate different moves after you land the jab jab cross do you duck out of the way after do you step back do you roll under why not do it all that is what i love about boxing. You can take the simplest things and branch so many different options, so many different scenarios off of one basic combination. If you're a beginner boxer, I highly encourage you to take this basic combination and work on practicing one way of throwing it, getting comfortable with that way of throwing it, whether it's jabbing forward and then the cross, and then the next session you work on moving backwards with it, 
and then firing it and then changing up the tempo and so on. I hope I was able to provide you a little bit of value and a little bit of knowledge when it comes into your boxing technique, especially for my beginner boxers, especially for those that are stepping into competition or even those that do compete and need a little reminder on how the basics can take you the longest way. If you like this boxing tip, this little boxing lesson, I highly encourage you, please, 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 please subscribe to the channel, hit the bell notifications, like the video, shoot me a comment if you did like the video and I could break down even more boxing tips in the future. My name is Jeremiah, and I will catch y'all next time. Peace.